My name is Scott, and I'm the owner of Climb On Indoor Rock Climbing Gym in Wilmington, North Carolina. Today we're going to discuss strategies for rock climbing. The first strategy for rock climbing would be get proper instruction from a qualified rock climbing instructor. Once you've done that, if you go to an indoor gym, you're going to see a lot of routes which are taped and marked in different difficulties. Once you begin to climb these routes, you're going to want to look at the difficulty level and then begin to climb it. The reason that they're marked is so that you're not climbing above your level. So if you're a beginner, you're going to climb V0s or V1s. If you're a more advanced climber, you're going to climb V3s or V8s or V5s. The higher that number goes, the harder the problem is going to become. And that is across the country. So if we were climbing a V1, we would only use the yellow tape. So one of the strategies I would use is to take a look at the climb to know where I'm going to move and how I'm going to use that movement. So by looking at that climb, I know it ends over there on the right. So what I would do is start down here and use my feet on the wall to get to these next holds so that I could advance to the end. This has been Strategies for Rock Climbing.